Good morning. Today is very exciting because we are going dry enough for our first row of cows. So we are looking forward to that. I have like a little Excel file done up and I plug in body condition scores in the calving dates and then it automatically calculates when the cows need to be dried off by. So we picked out the first 20 that need to be dried off. So they're going to be dried off today. Padraig is doing all the hard work. As usual. As usual. <laughs> So we have gloves, hot water, is it hot water? Uh, yeah, with disinfectant. Disinfectant in it. Dry cow tubes, teeth cleaning tubes, more gloves, gloves. Bin. Bin. We're good to go. So we normally just dry off 20 at a time. Don't want too many to do in the day. You get yeah. tired and then you start making mistakes. Yeah, to be uh, very thorough kind of with yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, now we, we've 22 drafted out today because a lot of them are heifers, so, mm -hmm. um, and because they've been on hay for a few days now, they they'll be, you know, that little bit kind of, I suppose, it won't be as full. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to fit in 22, and they'll be just snugger, and there'll be less kicking, hopefully, going on. <laughs> <laughs> we had one that escaped on us, so we have to go get her now. I was cubicle shed. Escaped on Kieran. <laughs> she either got through the cubicles, or I don't know how she got out. But anyway. She's roaming around in the cubicle shed, so we have to go find her now. don't know anything at all about drying off it's basically where the cows are finished milking for the year they won't start milking again until they calve down in February or March and so they're basically going on holidays for three months we use antibiotic tubes and we use teeth sealer because we want to prevent infection over the dry period because if cows get infection into their udders over the dry period it's just a total disaster in terms of selective dry cow therapy that's where no antibiotics are used at all uh, we do do that but actually just it just happens today that most of these are heifers and the few cows they're getting antibiotics so we do it on, a, on about between 10 and 15 percent of the herd at the moment um, so as we get more confident with it we'll probably do selective dry cow therapy more there's a lot more risk with it because you're only putting a teeth sealer up into the teeth and uh, there's a greater chance that infections can occur. When you do use the antibiotic tube and the teeth sealer, the antibiotic tube basically will clear out any infection that comes into the teeth. It's only on a select number of the cows. So we go through the cows cell counts. We've picked out like the lowest, I think they've all been below 50, all of their milk recordings. So any of those cows that have low milk that have low cell counts, they will get selective dry cow therapy. Um, the rest then will just be the normal. Patrick's here, we're gonna get going. So step one is wiping the cows. And step one is turning the phone off. Turn the phone off? Actually no, step one is cutting their tails about a week <laughs> Yeah, that's true actually, yeah. Step one, cut the tails. Step two, turn the phone off. Step three, clean their udders. No. <laughs> what step three? Be prepared you for everything set up. Oh gee. There's a lot of steps before you actually get to the udder, isn't there? <laughs> Right, be prepared, have your gloves, have your tubes, have your paw rig. 
have your bin and your water. Well, that's water and disinfectant. And then you get to step 562, which is you finally get to clean the cow. So clean with tissue first and then we clean with antiseptic whites then. So Padre will use one wipe per teat uh, to clean them. It's amazing actually, even after you clean, like you think when you clean with the tissue, they're clean. But then when Padre goes in with the antiseptic wipes, they're not at all. So that's the next step. And then you're going in with them with your tubes, if they're getting dry cow tubes. And then your teeth sealer. Then they're all sealed up and they're ready for Christmas. Most, most important step, let Padre do all the hard work. done and we have 12 left to go. So uh, we're just on to disinfecting the cow first. The way I was taught was to start with the front teats or the teats furthest away from you. So the idea behind that is when you're cleaning them you might be accidentally brushing it off these back too but that's fine. Then you'll, you'll do the front two first, the furthest ones away from you. So we'll start up there. She's pretty clean, like she's a heifer, she has nice clean teats. There's a bit of a war there, but not the end of the world. Okay. I'll do the um try and keep to the same routine as well, so I'll do the front left first, then the front right, then the back right, then the back left, going clockwise. Just in case you get distracted in any way that you can um, then you'll be able to pick up track where you are. Yeah. In fairness, they're cooperating very well today. I think there was one effort that was kind of scatty, but yeah. the rest, rest of them now are not too bad. Yeah. Not always the case, but <laughs> we'll take it when we get it. So now I moved on to the back ones because. If I was to do the back ones or the ones closest to me first and then move to the front ones, I could be brushing my hand accidentally off. What you've already what cleaned. What you've already cleaned, exactly, yeah. And you're starting with the barrel of the teeth? Yeah, so start with the barrel of the teeth, which is the side of the teeth there. Clean that off first. Then I get a clean piece of the... Of the um, antiseptic wipe. Antiseptic wipe and I'll do the teat end then. Obviously the teat end is the most important part, but the barrel is, you know, equally as important because when I go on out, put, I, I teat spray them just ever so slightly just to keep the, the area as clean as possible. I put the dry cow tube up first, and then before I put the teat sealer up, I'll teat spray them again. So the reason then, if the barrel of the teat is clean, you know, if the, the teeth spray starts to come to the bottom of the teeth, the teeth spray then at least will be clean, you know, mm. as well. So it's not a pulling dirt down, let's say, with it down to the teeth end. Exactly. So we'll start with the, the dry cow tubes. So the dry cow tubes and the sealer are different colours so that we can keep track of them. Yeah, so the sealers are orange and the dry cow tubes are white. Okay. And it's usually my job. Again, I have a routine. I do the left one first, then the right one. And again, I'm starting at the back now this time, or the teeth closest to me, because I don't want to be cross-contaminating. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, just to give yourself an idea where the exact teeth end is, you can squeeze out a bit of milk. Only push up 
the slightest bit of the nozzle there's no need to push the whole thing up because you want to keep it as close as possible then I'm going to bring my fingers to the bottom of the teeth and rub the dry cow tube up which as you'll see in a second will be the opposite to the sealer we'll be trying to keep the sealer at the bottom of the teeth mm -hmm. so I'm moving on now to the right again get a bit of milk out so I see exactly where the hole is uh, the teeth area face and then push up so now I want to see the way now the teeth spray is coming to the bottom of the teeth I want to try and have it as clean as possible yeah. And you're feeling your gloves as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so holding the top of the teeth. Good girl. And now I'm going to push out so I get to the sealer at the very bottom. See the teeth are just coming now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on the top of the teeth, pushing the sealer. So that's sealing the, the, the teeth end. And now I'm going to teeth right in. So two done, two to go. Yeah. So as you can see, like it takes time. There's eight tubes to go up into the cow. Or four. Or four. She's selective, mm -hmm. but yeah. eight for all these because there's nobody selective here. Dun, 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 dun. The one we're looking for all day. Hallelujah. Beautiful. So, the last thing we do now is just spray them red just in case. In case they get in with the other cows so that we can identify them. Yeah, like 653. The one earlier on she obviously got through the cubicle somehow so in case that happens if they do come into the milking parlor we won't milk them into the tank as you may or may not know antibiotics are not allowed into milk oh it's more of a pink is it yeah. do you offer them a choice of color or <laughs> is it standard, standard, red, standard. <laughs> You have um, a different design for each cow as well. Do you want to tell us the inspiration behind your designs? Um, okay. Abstract. Oh, abstract, okay. It's very couture. This is a new word that I learned. Very avant-garde, you know? I don't know what that word means either. It's like he, he sprays his favorite oh, cows. With the, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Freya's like, finally I can do something. Now. Oh. So we're going to tidy up. Okay. 
I just finished up drying off those cows so we are putting them in here on their own as you can see we have hay fed out here the milking cows have silage over there so we have um, the cows that we've just dried off on hay now because so it'll reduce their milk production and then that'll help them to dry up and stop producing milk so yeah they will be separated out from the milking cows the milking cows have this section, this section, and here, and the milking cows will also have this back section. So there's only 22 dry cows, so they'll fit down below. And then the plan is that we will dry off the rest of the milking cows in stages over the next few weeks. So we should be totally dry by the 21st of December. I think that's the last date that we picked out. So we'll, we'll be on our holidays and the cows will be on our holidays then, which will be great. Yeah. Good girls. So, this is the spot here. right off which is great so that'll be um we'll be one row less in the milking parlour so it will take us a little bit less time now in the mornings again as if we needed more time off um so yeah thanks for watching the video really hope that you enjoyed it and now i'm gonna go help audrey clean up and not just dawdle around here doing nothing bye